find somewhere to sit when we get up there. <laughs> my name is Zara and I love my natural hair. I think, like I loved it from the minute I cut it. I didn't ever put out any of those I regret my big chop videos. That was never my kind of thing. I've just always loved it. Don't get me wrong, I get frustrated. I have those times where you know it's not quite working or bad hair days or whatever it doesn't really matter because all in all I still love it and I think to myself how amazing it is that it's in my DNA to have my hair come out this way although I want to offer some kind of practical tips on how to love your hair self-belief self-confidence all of those things they do start from within you have to kind of look at yourself and believe in yourself and say you know what, this is how I was wonderfully made and I love myself for it. So I'll just give you a couple of tips on how to love your natural hair. First tip I have for you is to set aside some time and have a wash day, like have a really long wash day. Maybe pick up some products that you've always wanted to treat yourself to, ones that smell really good, or your favorite hair gel that just gets your hair like, and no one could tell you nothing. And the reason I'm saying that is not to be wanky, like, oh, it's like, painting your toenails or putting on a face mask. The reason I'm telling you to set aside a really long time is so that you can get used to your hair. Because how can you love something that you've never known or you're not used to or you don't know how it works? For example, for me, as this is my journey and I continue on in my journey, I've never had this hair before. When I was younger, my mum used to braid my hair for school and then from the ages of 10, I would go to the salon, get my hair pressed and then when I was 12, I relaxed it. So from the ages of 10 to 12, that's kind of the age where you're starting to look after your own self and get yourself ready for school and you wash your own hair. I never had this texture. I've never known what it was like, how far it can shrink and what things it likes and doesn't like. And even when I was relaxed, obviously, doing the big chop, I started to figure out that the things that I used when I was relaxed, I can't quite use now that I'm natural. So take that time to get used to your strands. Have a really nice long wash day. Scrub at your scalp. Feel your strands and how it reacts to water, how it reacts to different products. Moisturize it. Look at it in the mirror. Get really used to it. Taking that time for yourself is a big part of self-care. And with that self-care comes a new awareness of how to look after and how to love your hair. So my second tip would be to get a friend. Obviously I'm a friend for you. If you ever need to like have someone to talk to, maybe having a bad hair day, I think having someone that you can relate to or talk about experiences with, whether it's a parent that knows your hair from when you were younger, or as somebody who's going through a natural hair journey as well, or hair care forums, anywhere that you can get it. Talk about it, talk about your hair, your bad experiences that you're having, the twist out that failed, or different products to try. I think that's part of the reason why blogging is so great, is because we found people that look like us and are like us and go through the same things as us. You have to remember there's always going to be someone that's already experienced everything that you're experiencing. So any worries that you have, it's really good to have a friend or someone to talk to about it. So my last tip for you is to actually get a Pinterest board or a mood board of some kind, whether you save pictures on your phone, but I actually have a Pinterest board and I've had one ever since I went natural, even just before I think. And what's great about having that is that visual representation. You know, especially for women of color, women with natural hair, there isn't much representation in the media of us, especially the kinkier your hair type is. So I've created that for myself, a board full of beautiful women with different hair lengths and different hairstyles, different hair colors that are representation of me and my hair. So whenever I'm feeling down, I can flip through that board and say, wow, like beautiful TWA, beautiful curls and kinks and coils and stunning hair length down to here and thick hair and twist outs and braid outs and just everything that can empower me. And even more importantly, I put my own pictures on there, not to toot my own horn, but just again, to keep a track of my own journey. Whenever I think I haven't come very far, I look at my pictures and I'm like, wow, my hair has grown, my hair is healthy, it's flourishing. So having that kind of representation when you're having a bad day and flipping through pictures of yourself and other women all mingled in together, it's really empowering and can really help you love your natural hair. You know, there was a time when to be a supermodel as a black woman, you would either have super 
proper pin straight long hair, perhaps weave, or you'd have a shaved head. Like, there was no in between. There was no natural hair seen on top models. And now there is. Now you see natural hair of all lengths on campaigns, on runways, on models. They're natural hair. There was a time where you had to go here, there and everywhere just to find the suitable products for your hair type, relaxed or natural. Now we have Shea Moisture, Dark and Lovely, ORS, all of these brands and more in Boots and Superdrug, as well as other more commercial brands seeing what a need there is for curly, coily, afro textured hair care. How great is that? So it's a lot about being the change that you want to see. If you're a student, for example, and maybe someone said something untoward or taken the mick out of you and it's, it has hurt your feelings, because trust me, I get it, it can hurt. You just have to remember that school is an echo chamber. It's like this tiny period of your life. You are an adult for way longer than you are a child. So the experiences that you have in school, yes, it may seem like the be all end all. You wanna wear the latest fashions and be like this person because you don't want to be picked on or you, know, you don't wanna stand out. But really, by having the confidence and being yourself, trust me, you'll go a lot further. So to end this video, let's just say it, let's just say, I am and I love my natural hair. I am Zara and I love my natural hair. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this has helped. Bye. My next tip would be to... Damn it. <laughs>